morning and welcome to this presentation. My name is Grace and thanks for tuning in this morning. I'm really excited to deliver this presentation and reflect on everything that I've taken on and learned over the course of this unit and how it's influenced me and developed my thinking about my future endeavours as a teacher. So let's get started. As someone who is not of Indigenous descent, the only knowledge and cultural awareness that I had about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people was what I had learned in school. I knew about the colonisation and tragic events that had happened since then to these Aboriginal communities, but I had only ever really made surface level connections um, with these stories that I encountered. As someone who avoids conflict and is the queen of procrastination, seriously, if you googled or looked up in the dictionary procrastination, there'd be a picture of my face. Um, I had developed a really shallow minded and naive perception of Australia's traditional owners. And whilst I knew all of the facts, I found myself not contributing to conversation and not engaging with an Indigenous person in fear of offending them or about my lack of knowledge or cultural awareness. As a result of my procrastination in my learning, I would often find myself avoiding the subject altogether. Subconsciously, this had developed a vicious cycle that I had only ever realised existed when I began this unit. This unit has given me a gentle but rude awakening to the ignorant life that I had led. I believe my role as a future teacher is to be a genuine teacher that is a trusted vessel for students to a successful learning pathway. I will aim to be respectful and give students every opportunity I can to make connections with Indigenous content. This includes asking elders or Indigenous community leaders to come and visit our school and to share their wisdom and knowledge through many different forms. And also constantly exposing students to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander content and making daily connections. On some of my practicum experiences, I've noticed, and certainly as well in my own schooling, when teachers make connections to cross-curriculum priorities, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander one, there is often one or two lessons students, there is often one or two lessons and students receive a big dose of content and then never touch on it for the rest of the term. This teaching method does not foster meaning making and students don't make connections to the land and to their country's history. And if they do, it's very surface level and it's forgotten as it's not repeated. Whilst big doses of content aren't a bad thing, making smaller everyday connections solidifies learning as, it, as it's repeated upon and built on every day. Students will become accustomed to hearing this sort of content and make connections to their country daily. The three R's are something that I also aspire to embed in my teaching and I will try to be, at all times, I will try to be respectful to build meaningful relationships and also play my part in the reconciliation and closing of the gap. Practically, this will mean showing my equity in my attitude and teaching style, showing genuine respect to my students and anyone who visits our school, and also giving students every opportunity to succeed in, every, in all areas of their life. Now, turning to Akara. Under the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Histories and Cultural Curriculum Priority, for each of the cross-curriculum priorities, there are a set of organised ideas that reflect the essential knowledge, understanding and skills for a priority. So the first category of organising ideas is country and place, which aligns with my chosen theme for this assignment. There are three organising ideas that are woven into these content descriptors. These are, number one, Australia has two distinct Indigenous groups. Aboriginal peoples and Torres Strait Islander peoples, and within those groups there are significant there is significant diversity. Number two, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities maintain a special connection and responsibility for country slash place. And number three, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples have holistic belief systems and are spiritually and intellectually connected to the land, sea, sky, and waterways. So from looking at Akara and these organizing ideas across this of these organising ideas, this cross curriculum priority has the potential to be woven into every subject area. It is our responsibility as future teachers to continually incorporate this material into our teaching and learning pedagogy. So for example, English. In, this learning, in their learning experiences, students will explore and become familiar with Indigenous literature, including tradition, traditional story, traditional telling of story, and then more contemporary literature. literature. Students will learn to recognise and appreciate the historical and cultural references woven throughout. I recently completed our children's literature assignment and one of the components I spoke about was Indigenous literature. 
and the telling of story. Story is so important to the Aboriginal culture and in it lies the history and past of Aboriginal peoples. It's such a significant, significant element of Indigenous culture and is the passing down of wisdom and knowledge from an elder, in the and an elder person in the community to a younger person in the community. Story was delivered orally and often tells men's and women's business and also of the dreaming, which are sacred messages. Passed down through generations, the dreaming give explanations of creation and how everything came to be. It provides explanations about all the life and all the living things. And also it provides law, L-O-R-E, which governs all aspects of traditional way of life. So in maths, students can look at numbers and patterning in relation to historical Aboriginal cultures, and they can investigate time, place, relationships, and measurement concepts with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander content. Science, students will make connections to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander traditional practices, as they also conducted studies by making predictions, observations, using all of their senses, carrying out tests through trial and error, and making generalizations about other items such as food, environmental materials, and sustainability. So in humanities and social sciences, the diverse cultures of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders can be explored in Indigenous people's long and continuous, long and continuous strong connections to country and their cultural and spiritual value of place and the ideas of custodianship and relationship for it and also in people's experiences before and after the colonisation and what these events looked like and also civic movements for change and progression towards reconciliation and equality. In the arts, students can explore both traditional and contemporary versions of Aboriginal art that demonstrate relationships between people and places and the connections that the and connections to country that can be conveyed through the form of art. So those are just a few examples of the connections that um, we can make daily as future teachers to um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander content. So the Queensland Department of Education encourages using shared rituals to build relationships and embed Indigenous culture into early years and every year learning. This includes acknowledgement of traditional custodians of the land, handing out lunches together, yarning circles and building culturally sensitive routines. The forming of these rituals and routines will foster connections between students and their ancestors. Students will make meaning from knowledge and wisdom passed down from their elders and will gain a sense of connection to country. I believe there is a significant level of importance that students have a, are to have a deep understanding and are able to make connections to country and are able to understand the importance of protecting and being good stewards of this country. With this knowledge of their elders connecting to their, to their history, the students will be well equipped to become um, progressive students in their lives. Thank you for listening.